Welcome back and in this segment we're continuing talking about our youth, we're continuing talking about uh, some of the events that took place as uh, part of uh, the World Youth Forum which took place in Sharm el and uh, today I'm happy to have uh, with me, we're happy to have with us uh, Mahmoud Wail and he is uh, the world's smartest kid uh, for the year 2016 and he was honoured as part of uh, the World Youth Forum uh, in Sharm el welcome with us. Uh, hi Mahmoud, now uh, you're 18 years old, born in 1999, and honored by the President and the World Youth Forum. Tell me how did that feel? Actually it felt pretty, uh, pretty, uh, pretty good because I, I wouldn't even say that I could describe my feeling at this very point. I'd say that before the, before the action of the honoring itself, uh, I, I did take a look uh, at the stage, uh, at, the, at the attendees of, uh, of, the, uh, of the conference. Uh, they looked pretty, uh, pretty much, but I'm not sure uh, what, uh, what the count was. But then I went on the stage next to the president, and uh, the, uh, the view was, uh, was honestly uh, undescribable. I wouldn't say that I could even describe, I would have uh, an appropriate way to describe this, uh, this view and this feeling that I had uh, during this very moment. Well, actually, uh, you've been awarded several awards and uh, one of the things you're known for is being a programmer. Now, when did you start being interested in programming? Actually, I started pretty, pretty early, at, at uh, the age of six or seven, I think. Um, it, was, it was kind of a uh, trial. It wasn't even uh, like the main thing or my, my main career that, that I uh, was going to master. But mm -hmm. I was just trying because I liked the, the thought of uh, the computers. Mm -hmm. I didn't know much uh, then about programming, honestly. But I just like felt okay. To, it was okay to try. At that at that time, I was, I was studying at school. Mm -hmm. uh, but then uh, I, I agreed to the idea, and I thought that why not? Uh, it was a full scholarship uh, from one of the companies, uh, from one of the computer companies. So I said, okay, I'm gonna try. Uh, so at this very moment, I started uh, my my career, my programming career. The first course uh, was around eight months. After I finished, uh, after I finished this course, uh, I did uh, I did a project and the exam, and I scored 98% on the exam. And uh, from this uh, from this moment, I started my career. Okay. Now, um, every uh, person who is successful in a certain field has a role model. So, uh, and you are in the IT and programming, and do um, you have a, a particular role model in general? And did you meet uh, one during the, the World Youth Forum? Actually, my, my role model is uh, Dr. Ahmed Zweil. Uh, even though he's not, he's not a part of the, uh, the, the engineering on the, or the IT department, but he has been my role model since I was five years old. Before I even started my programming career or my computer career, he was, uh, he was always my role model. I did, uh, luckily I did get to meet him uh, when I was around 11 or 12 years old. Really? Yes, that was six years ago. He honored me in, uh, here in Egypt. Uh, I sent him a message when I was uh, six years old. I told him that I want that is my role model and that I'm uh, the world's smartest kid, and I'm very happy to uh, that he's Egyptian, and I'd, I'd really like to see him or to meet him in person. So I got to the response around five years later. He told me that uh, that uh, he did receive my message, but he was waiting for uh, for my uh, contribution to the uh, to the Egyptian achievements. So at this point, when he met me, I, yeah, I did achieve three of the three of uh, the five of the five world certificates that I did that I do have now. So he told me that uh, he did uh, he didn't meet me because uh, because he wanted to congratulate me and give me um, a little motivation to uh, to go on with uh, with my career. And uh, each and every word that uh, he, uh, he told me during our uh, meeting and our uh, honoring was uh, like, was kind of an advice to myself, which I still do recall till this very moment. And did you meet one in, uh, in the forum? Uh... Actually, during the forum, um, uh, I, I'm not sure if I met, uh, I would say, a role model, but I met a lot of people that, uh, that I look... Inspiring. Yes, they, they're, they're, all, all of them are actually inspiring, even the, all of the teenagers, not, not only the, uh, the, uh, the responsible people like uh, the, the, the ministers and so on, but also all of the teenagers there were, were an actual inspiration to me. Okay. Well, you've mentioned that you achieved five uh, mm -hmm. achievements. That uh, now we we'll start with wh which was the first one? Was it uh, being the world's smartest kid, or, or, or was color, or uh, mm -hmm. something else? Actually, uh, the world's smartest kid, I, I don't consider it an achievement of my own because it's, yeah. uh, it's something that God gave me. So I, I, I couldn't, I couldn't say that it's an achievement of my own. Yeah. So I don't count it as an achievement. But uh, the first one was the one I was telling you about. It uh, was when I was seven years old. Um, it was the, the programming one uh, when I became the world's youngest programmer. Yeah. Okay. And then I, then I was awarded uh, several awards and uh, and uh, certificates, including being the uh, the youngest network designer in the world as well. 
Okay, and when did you start developing passion for programming? Uh, it was actually uh, at, at this very time, but I'd say, um, I'd say around six years old before, uh, before uh, pursuing this career. Uh, I really liked the, the thought of the computers, the thought of the, of the network and the internet, but I didn't know much about programming, how to, how to program this, um, this very computer that I'm, that I'm using. Uh, for example, in fun, entertainment, games, uh, any, any, of this, uh, any of these uh, uh, categories, but I'd say that uh, the programming was, um, was kind of an alien idea to me until I started uh, this, uh, this career and became my passion since then. Actually, at the age of 14, you were nominated by one of uh, the biggest computer companies in the world uh, and actually you were licensed even to give uh, lectures at universities. Now, tell me about that experience, please. Actually, uh, that was at the age of 12. Uh, okay. it, was, it was an honor to me to, uh, to, uh, to be able to teach people because I've been, uh, been studying you since... You were lecturing at the age of 12? Yes, at uh, the oh and at multiple universities in Egypt. Uh, but actually, at the time, I was, uh, I was more into studying because I was in school, so mm -hmm. I, I couldn't leave school and just go, to, uh, go pursue a career of teaching, you know? But let me stop, let's just, uh, let, let me stop here. Yeah. <laughs> How did that feel on the, 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 the people you were uh, lecturing? I mean, the, the students, I, I don't know how to, they were students. <laughs> Technically, they were your students, and you were at the age of 12, so how did that feel? For you and for them? Uh, actually, of course, it, uh, this uh, this was kind of a problem to, uh, to both of us, I'd say, because uh, they wouldn't accept the fact that uh, a much younger uh, person would, uh, would teach them these uh, these uh, these concepts of programming or, or, or of the computer. I'm not talking about much younger, twelve year olds. Yes, they're, they're actually <laughs> around thirty years, uh, years yeah. old, all of them, because yeah. it's not uh, they're not uh, college students. They were um, they were in college. Post students. graduates. Yes, exactly. So you were twelve. Lecturing See, those graduates. Exactly. That was really it, weird. It felt really weird at the <laughs> beginning, but uh, but then as I as I got used to uh, to the to this concept, and because um, actually I didn't consider it as a lecture as much as um, as it was sharing information. Uh -huh. uh, I, uh, as if I was talking to my friends in school and teaching them, for, exa for example, something about math. Of course, it was very simple and basic, but it was the same concept to me because uh, I could I wouldn't consider it as. Um, as education, as much as it was a passion that I was pursuing and I wanted to, to even reach high levels of it. Well, also, uh, you were given the baccalaureate of, uh, from uh, a faculty or an important academy in Switzerland, mm -hmm. and uh, you were given uh, more or less around five international uh, certificates in the field of uh, technology and computer science. So tell me more about that experience, please. Actually, considering this experience, I'd say that um, I, I, would, I was awarded by, uh, by multiple uh, computer companies, and not only computer companies, mm -hmm. by, um, by a lot of uh, even, uh, even uh, countries, uh, not, not, com not mm -hmm. computer, but uh, the, the whole country itself awarded me in international mm -hmm. conferences mm -hmm. in, uh, on multiple occasions. Mm -hmm. But uh, this, uh, this, uh, this, very, this very honoring and this very conference felt very different, the World Youth Forum. Mm -hmm. Because it was um, it was a, a, a token of appreciation from my own government, from my own uh, country. from my own country. Exactly, it felt mm -hmm. it felt quite different. I lost it. Felt uh, the best the, be the best of these uh, honors. Okay. Now this brings me to perhaps a cliche question. I don't know if it's cliche to you, or no, but you have made all this still at the age of 18, and um, at the age of 12 you were lecturing. At the age of 18, you're honored by the president. You met uh, Ahmed Zouil at the age of eight. <laughs> I mean, um, my question to you: What are what still you need to do? What are your inspirations or aspirations, if I may say, and ambitions? Mm -hmm. You still need to do more. Of course, concerning this very point, it's it's actually quite crucial to talk about because um, I, I consider myself not successful enough. I'm not saying that I didn't achieve uh, quite. Uh, Quite appropriate enough of content at this uh, this year, but I wouldn't I wouldn't say that I've reached my my maximum uh, my maximum level of success. I still have much more to achieve. Uh, currently, I'm studying bachelor degree in engineering mechatronics uh, on the second year. Uh, actually, after after finishing the bachelor degree, I think I'm gonna travel outside. That, that was the advice of Dr. Ahmad Zouil uh, to continue on uh, to continue studying, and the post grad uh, is gonna be outside Egypt probably. But I'm gonna return, of course, to Egypt to achieve to achieve more. And, uh, and also um, reach my goal, which is the Nobel Prize, which I, I, I dreamt of since I was around five years old. Well, I, I hope that all your dreams come true and I hope that you'll be a Nobel laureate. Yeah. Uh, now, 
uh, I'd like to ask you about your participation in the World Youth Forum itself, being honored at the end of the forum. Did you attend any of the sessions and which sessions appealed to you? Of course, it was an honor to attend, uh, to attend multiple sessions, actually. Mm -hmm. uh, I chose these sessions which were uh, very interesting to me uh, and very inspiring, actually, which were like um, the artificial intelligence session, mm -hmm. the machine learning, as they're, uh, they're a part of my education, my, uh, mm -hmm. my postgrad education, if I may say. And also, I did attend uh, multiple uh, multiple sessions concerning the education uh, state in Egypt. Uh, as an overall, as the minister of education was talking mm. about uh, the plans that uh, that Egypt is uh, is willing to apply uh, throughout uh, the next 12 years. I think that uh, these uh, these very sessions, these very plans, and the decisions were actually taken, and not only uh, said uh, as a propaganda or so on. I think it's gonna change the, the future of education in Egypt. We might not feel, we might not feel it as we're already like 18 and 19, but the upcoming generation is gonna feel a much um, is gonna feel much yeah, much better improvement uh, in this in this system. And of course, not only um, the school system, but the college and the universities as well. Okay, Mahmoud, in all fields and walks of life, uh, particularly in the field of IT, um, innovation for creativity arises from the needs. I mean, you start thinking about what do I need? How can I improve this? And it could be something very simple, simple or basic yes. that you uh, encounter on your daily uh, life. Now, for you, what was that thought? What was that idea? If you are to develop a program or an application, what would be the idea? The response to, uh, to this question, I'd say that um, I, w I wouldn't have actually a clear response because uh, I did, I did multiple programs, I worked on multiple projects with the different people from different countries and I had the honor to work with each and every team member of them all. But I say that, um, like you mentioned, that uh, it's actually the need. Uh, for, for, each product, for each project there was a different need uh, for, uh, in order for us to start working on the project. Some of them weren't even uh, official, uh, official projects or, or official programs. Some of them were personal, pro were personal programs that I worked on, on, on my own at home without a team without anything without even um, a goal or a business or a business goal to uh, to even make a profit or so on so it was only to uh, for myself as a, as a profit for myself to make things easier for me and i uh, and i would share them with uh, with my family with uh, whoever whoever cares enough to uh, to use this program in order to uh, to, to let to let people benefit well, as a program uh, a developer and a programmer and uh, of course being in the IT uh, business and of course as a science itself, how do you find scientific research in Egypt and to what extent uh, do you find the necessary tools to achieve your goals? Concerning the, uh, the, scientific, uh, the, the scientific part in Egypt, I wouldn't say that it's very... Um, it's very strong, I'd say, because uh, and I think that this is the main point that we should discuss or that we should point to. And uh, and I'm very, I was very happy and delighted that the Minister of Education didn't um, didn't ignore this fact. No, but, uh, but he actually mentioned that uh, that Egypt is uh, is uh, is actually lagging on this on this very uh, on this very uh, point, which is the scientific uh, the scientific point in Egypt. But I I, I wish that um, that uh, the the system as a whole changes. Because the students, they, they, they don't mind the improvement. Uh, each and every student of us are working on themselves to be, uh, be um, next to the school and next to the education that, uh, that they're pursuing. I think that the upcoming generation is much, much different than, uh, than the rest of the generations. People are working on themselves. They're going online. They're, um, they're thinking outside the box. They, would, they just want to achieve more, not, uh, not specifically in the, in, the, in the scientific part, but for example, learning, learning in general, because uh, the education is, is a thing and learning is another thing. So for example, if someone has a passion about music, about, uh, about acting, pursuing this career would still be, a, would still be a, an achievement that they'd be very proud of, and I think that all of us would be very proud of. Okay. Again, back to the World Youth Forum, the youngest developer was there, uh, the, the little kid. Did you get to meet him? He's sitting right next to me, actually, and I did talk to him uh, much because uh, I think that I saw myself in him, uh, his, uh, his passion about programming. I think that uh, not only me and him, but two programmers were quite uh, shared, uh, shared this very passion. Uh, we have, we think, I think that we do think alike, even though, even though we program uh, much differently. Now, this brings me to a, a very important question. Was the forum an important opportunity for you to meet up with guys who are passionate about uh, programming and developing and you thought like, you guys, if we meet up, uh, if we could team up 
at some point we could do something really amazing? Actually, I was, I was lucky enough that uh, that I did meet a lot of people. Not 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 only that we that we think that what if we work together? No, way. we actually uh, did uh, did the work did the um, did the common contact with each other. We uh, we but you took the extra step. <laughs> exactly, but we didn't just think. Yes, we would wanted to work with each uh -huh. other. We wish we'd work with each you other. Already no, we already uh, we did. Already. We're, uh, we're now friends on Facebook. We uh, we do contact each other. We need to start on on big things because the uh, the World Youth Forum was uh, was an opportunity was an opportunity that wasn't that not only me would miss, but I don't think that anyone would like to miss such a great opportunity to work on them on to work on themselves and to improve them, uh, themselves. And I, uh, as Mahmoud, I think I did uh, did share part of this, and I wish I, I could uh, I could benefit uh, other people. Well, uh, Mahmoud, we uh, the world's fastest kid for the year 2016 and also uh, one of the youngest programmers in the world who achieved several certificates met uh, with, of course, uh, the great late scientist the whale and uh, so many other achievements. I'd like to thank you very much for this interview and I wish you all the best. I wish you to achieve all your dreams and reaching the Nobel Prize. Well, uh, that brings us to the end of today's episode of Now Cruise. But first of all, I have to thank you, Hela. <laughs> Uh, Mahmoud and say that I'm proud uh, to interview you uh, it's Mahmoud it's a, it's a great pleasure and perhaps a few years uh, from now we will uh, look back at this episode and uh, by the time you would uh, achieve even more and great success great perhaps maybe and you would remember us <laughs> so I would like to, 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 to tell you that I'm really honored and proud of you a very yeah, I mean interviewing a young Egyptian who is that smart who uh, has been honored by the president who has made such achievements that's really great. So I wish you best of luck. Well, so still I was thanking you, Hala, thank for being with me. Thank you very much, and uh, thank you, uh, ladies and gentlemen, for being with us in this edition of Nile Cruise. We do hope you've enjoyed it, and we'll be meeting you again in another episode of the program with another crew. But for now, it's goodbye, and have a good day. <laughs>